Hey everyone, how's it going? This is a tutorial on the Rebel Snowspeeder. This is in 2 to 1 scale. The last time we did one of these was probably about 2019, something like that. Um, in 2 to 1 at least, we did a 1 to 1 version earlier this year, I think it was. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, definitely an upgrade over the last model, um, especially because of these snow layers, which we started incorporating into a lot of white coloured builds. And as long as you can, you know, avoid using things like end rods or sea lanterns around them, they don't melt. So that's all good. Um, so for this one, if you if you can um, turn off, you know, like light sources, melting blocks, then you can use end rods here. Um, but I'm using chains just for the uh, people who can't do that. Um, for areas like this with the cannons and with the um, with the little turret on the back as well. So yeah, it's. Pretty much all I have to say about it, really. Um, I do like the snow speeder. It's not one of my all-time favorite things, but it's definitely not too bad. Um, it's fairly interesting uh, in terms of the concept. And in Battlefront 2, I think um, it it's really weird to use in the uh, in the Hoth map, but I still like it. So yeah, let's get on with the build on to layer number one. Okay, for layer number one, you're going to need white concrete, quartz stairs, quartz slab, cut red sandstone, smooth red sandstone stairs, smooth red sandstone slabs, iron trap door with stone brick wall and iron bars. Take the white concrete, the green line is going to be the front of the build. Uh, bear that in mind, the red is the back. One, two, three, four, five. Five again. And then two, two there. Take the quartz stairs, one there facing outwards, one there outwards, both upside down. Take the smooth uh, red sandstone slabs, one, two, and three. And then take the quartz slab, that's going to be one, and two, and three, and four, just like that. Okay, one, two, three, and four. Do another one here, and another one there. Should have this so far. Take the iron trap door, it's going to be one here, one there as well. And then do two here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three. And then two there as well. You should get this. Two more here. Two more go there as well. This is going to be another quartz slab. And another one here. This is going to be a white concrete on either side, just like so. Take these uh, cut red sandstone, one and two. White concrete, one and two. And then take the smooth red sandstone stairs, one here, one there facing inwards. This is going to be an iron trap door just here, and another one goes there, so you should get this so far. Take the uh, quartz slab, that's going to be one and two, and one and two there as well. Finally, just take a smooth stone slab, we're going to do one and two here one and two here and then a top half one just there like that take these stone brick walls that's going to be one and two one and two and then take the iron bars one two one two one two okay and once you've done that that's going to be it for layer number one so let's go on to layer number two okay for layer number two take white concrete orange concrete sign terracotta chiseled stone bricks i still can't say that i don't know why Quartz stairs, nether brick stairs, quartz slab, smooth red sandstone stairs, and also the snow layers. We're going to go down to the front here and do one snow layer. Um, well, two actually. Two there, two there, two here, two here. And then this one's going to be three. And three here as well. This is going to be the quartz slabs, one and two. One and two. Stair facing backwards, stair facing backwards, sideways one like that, sideways one here. And then this is going to be a uh, stair there just like that in the middle. Uh, the smooth red sandstone ones like that. Okay, take a dark oak fence gate. That's just going to go here. And just leave it there like that. This is part of the interior. There's going to be a nether brick stair one and two there just like that. You can throw that away. Take a uh, light gray carpet just on the floor there like so. Okay. Take the white concrete. This is going to be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And then this one goes just there. 
take a lever just in that gap here. Take the sign terracotta. This is going to be one, two, and three. Orange concrete goes there. Orange concrete goes there. Do two more cyan here. Two here as well. And then this is the stone bricks. One and two. Throw that away now. Dark oak trap door. One there, flip it down. One there, flip that one down as well. And then take the quartz stairs. That's going to be two here. Two here as well. Do another quartz stair facing outwards. One and two. And then this is a... Uh, oh, actually, we need a gap. Oh, in fact, yeah. So, delete that one. White concrete, one and two. This is going to be two stairs there like that. And then this one's facing outwards. My apologies. White concrete there. White concrete here. And then this is a quartz stair, just like that. So you should get this so far. We need white carpet now. That's going to be just one there like that. And one here as well. Take the quartz stairs. One more here. One more goes there. Now this is going to be the... Uh, where is it? Assisia or Asatia, however you want to say it. You need the uh, the stairs version of that. That's going to go here and on that side as well. Can throw that away now. You need a polished black stone wall. That's going to be one and two. One and two. And take the dark oak fence gate again. One and two there. So we're working on the, the cannons now. Now if you can um, stop snow layers from disappear uh, disappearing when they're in the sunlight, you can use a end rod here. However, I'm going to use a chain just because I know not everyone can. So one and two of those, otherwise it would be two end rods like in the, uh, the display model. Um, but it works pretty much the same way. And this is going to be a wither skull on the end as well. So just like that. Okay, from there, uh, take another wither skull. This is going to go on the back just here, one and two of the uh, the cyan that we did before. Going to be an iron bars here, one and two, one in the middle, and then stone brick walls on either side. Okay, and that is going to do it, I think, for layer number two. So let's move on swiftly to layer number three. Right, so this next layer up is actually going to be the uh, the final section. There's two layers in this one, but the uh, the top one is literally just a few snow uh, layers, so it's, it's fine. This is going to be a lever here, flip it, and then we're going to put either a chain or an end rod on the back, and that's the rear cannon. If you take the snow layers and put one here and here, it should actually cover up the middle one. I don't know if it does the same on the uh, bedrock additions, but if not, you can just leave that one blank in the middle. Um, I'm not sure why it does this, but yeah oh well it does and it works in our favor this time and um, take the snow layers again and we're going to do it just here one and two layers like that and two again take quartz slab one and two one and two and cut red sandstone slab here one and two one and two there this is going to be a white carpet and um, just above the uh, iron bar there and on that side as well so you should hopefully have this from the back, which looks nice. Uh, we're going to take a stone button. That's going to go on top of these stone bricks. One and two. Throw that away. Coming back to the middle now, we're going to take the diorite wall, polished blackstone wall, and black stained glass. So this is going to be a diorite wall in the middle. Blackstone wall there and there. And it will do the same with these snow layers here. Not for the middle one, though. Um, but that's alright. Another diorite wall is going to go there and there. And then this is three polished black stone walls. Take the black stained glass. One, two, three, and four. And this is going to be a polished black stone stair now. Just one there like that. And that should cover up uh, pretty much all the interior. I'm going to take the snow layers. This is going to be one and two one one and then finally right on the end it's going to be one black carpet just there like that and once you've done that that's actually going to be it for the build very very simple to do and um, i think it's been like what 10 minutes and um, it's a shame i couldn't get this trapdoor to be covered up but um 
you know, it is what it is. I don't know if you could do some trickery with the with the snow layers and, and put one here and maybe it would go on top of that. I don't know. Um, you can mess about with it if you want. Anyway, yeah, that's going to do it. So let's put these shaders on and we can have a look at the overall build. Uh, so here we go. Oh, wow, that's very bright. Uh, hang on. Let's change the time a bit. Oh, it already was 9,000. Let's do... Uh, Let's do 10,000. That's a little bit better. So yeah, that's the snow speeder in two to one, and um, definitely very cool for the uh, the hoth dioramas. Um, if you have the old model, you can definitely replace it with this one. Um, and once we do the two to one, uh, two to one eighty eighty, and then it'll be good to uh, to see them both together. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. So I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day, and yeah, goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you for watching the video. On the screen right now you can see a list of the fantastic Patreon supporters who are helping to support the channel. If you want to check out the Patreon and other social medias of mine, you can find them all in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.